people who first influenced me in playing hockey was uh, my mum and dad. Uh, they both started playing hockey um, when they were when they were young and and continued playing. Um, when me and my sister were were very young, we'd go out to to the hockey fields um, and pretty much stay there all Saturday. Um, and it was just yeah one of those things that um, you gradually obviously growing up um, we, was always around hockey and. Um, yeah, picked up a stick very young, and yeah, they were certainly the the people who influenced me to to first do it, and can't thank them enough for doing that, I guess. Oh, I guess over the course of my career, I've had a fair few people who have influenced uh, my career to date. Um, one of them early on would be uh, Greg Browning. Um, he was one of the youngest Australian players to ever play for the Kookaburras. Um, he was then the Queensland Blades coach for a number of years. And when I first came into to the program um, in Queensland, um, he gave me an opportunity to, to one, firstly, just to train with some of the, the Australian players and the Queensland Blades players back uh, when I was kind of 16, 17 years old um, and gave me my first shot at um, the Australian Hockey League in 2009. Um, and then obviously I've had a few coaches over the time um, with Matthew Wells now at uh, the Queensland Blades um, and the Brisbane Blades with the Hockey One uh, stuff. Uh, Rick Charlesworth was my first Australian coach um, who gave me an opportunity to, to represent Australia. And um, yeah, someone I've <coughs> always looked up to um, as a player and as well, obviously with his highly decorated career um, as a coach, um, as well as playing. Graham Reid, um, had a really good relationship with Graham. Uh, he played for the same, the same um, club uh, as I do over in, in Perth, Vic Park Panthers, and we had a really close relationship. And now more recently, um, Colin Batch has had a really big influence uh, moving me back into the midfield. It's, um, yeah, certainly been a transition that I've really, really liked. Um, I love now playing in the midfield um, it's something that, yeah, I never saw myself doing. Um, but Batchy and Rob Hammond, Anthony Potter set me a challenge. And, yeah, I'll, uh, hopefully um, I, I'm up to it. And um, I've really been loving it over the last three or four years playing in the midfield. It's something very different and um, love being involved in the game. So, yeah, they, they're really the, the main, main coaches that have influenced my career to date. There's certainly numerous amounts of moments that I'm proud of, um, not just individually, more so as a team. Um, one that comes to mind straight away is my debut. Um, yeah, super, super proud of being able to represent Australia. Um, it was a certainly a, a goal of mine when I was a younger kid. And yeah, to be able to, to put on the green and gold for the first time uh, was very, very special and a day that I'll never forget. Yeah, I guess in the last four years, I've changed um, a, a fair bit. Um, again, going back to, to what Colin Batch set me, um, I guess, a challenge in to re-energise me and, and put me back in the midfield. Um, the first few years were, were quite trying. It was uh, a little bit difficult to, to get used to more so, I guess, the defensive style of play that you need in the midfield. It's not like a striker, you're attacking and then you, you kind of, defending for a little bit of a time and then you might be subbed because the subs are so quick now in hockey. So, um, yeah, it, it certainly changed me as a player and um, I'm really thankful for, for Batchy for putting me back there and having the trust in me that um, I've been able to uh, go back in there and, and play some pretty pretty good hockey back there. Yeah, it's certainly been... a uh, an interesting time and it's such a also a sad time for many people around the world and um yeah it's one of those things where you just yeah you wish that it never happened it's yeah just horrible to see the amount of people who have lost their lives and uh, people going through such a difficult time with with the COVID-19 stuff it's it's really difficult um I guess somehow we've been staying connected through the kookaburras is is those zoom meetings and the team meetings online, we kind of have one each week and 
as many guys um, and the coaching staff can make it just to say hello um, and, and keep encouraging people to, to work out at home and to do their conditioning and to do their running or bike riding or swimming or whatever it may be to, to just keep the motivation as high as we can. Um, again, it's been such a tough time, not just just for sporting teams, but for all over um, for all over the world and for, for people. So yeah, that's just a little way we've been able to to stay connected and um, and I guess yeah, be together in um, times of need. Well, Jake Lesson!